You probably shouldn't start an LLC for your online business. Today I'm gonna to share with you the five reasons that an LLC is not the way to go for your online business. Hi, my name is Jim Hart. I'm the founding attorney here at Hawthorne Law, where we help online entrepreneurs just like you to get your legal house in order so that you can focus on doing what you do best, and that is building something that truly matters in the world. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you the five main reasons, that's not five, that's 10, the five main reasons you should not be starting an LLC for your online business just yet. Listen, a lot of you out there wanna get your legal house in order, you wanna protect your business, you wanna get things in order, and forming an LLC may be the first thing that you wanna do if you're going out to start your online business. But I'm here to tell you that forming an LLC is right for some people, it's actually right for a lot of people, but there are some people out there that forming an LLC is not the thing that you wanna do right away when you're just getting started. And now I'm gonna to switch to my other clothes because I had to refilm this intro. That's kind of, yeah, that's what happened there. The LLCs are not the end all be all of everything related to online business. There's lots of reasons why you might not wanna start an LLC just yet. Listen, here's the deal. A lot of the information that's out there is either too generic, it's too complicated, or maybe you understand it, but you, you look at who's producing it and you're like, who is this quack that's writing this video or that's doing this video on LLCs? They don't know what they're talking about. There's a tremendous amount of money, time, and effort that's at stake if you get this wrong. Choosing when and how to set up an LLC, this is a big legal decision. This is not something that you should just go online and do without giving it any thought whatsoever. I can't tell you how many times people come in to see me because they've made mistakes that could have been easily avoided if they'd just gone to see a lawyer from the beginning. These are mistakes that will cost thousands of dollars to fix. Nobody wants to spend thousands of dollars on a lawyer. I'm a lawyer and I don't want to spend thousands of dollars on a lawyer. We're going to get out of here because I'm getting a little stuffy in my office here. So let's let's take a walk. And let's start with reason number one that you may not want to start an LLC for your business. And it's pretty easy. It's basically that you're not making any money yet. And if you're not making any money yet, you definitely don't need to start an LLC because frankly, you don't have any money to pay for it anyway. We're going to go outside. That's my law firm right there in case you wondered if I was like legit. It's just a beautiful day out today, I gotta come outside. But reason number two that you don't want to start an LLC just yet is that you're not at risk of getting sued. You don't have to worry about anything because nobody's gonna sue you for anything. You don't have an, a reason to form an LLC. That's the big reason why people start LLCs to begin with. They wanna make sure their, their personal assets are protected from some sort of lawsuit that might happen. And if you're not at risk of getting sued, then there's really no reason to start an LLC to begin with. All right, and so reason number three kind of goes along with this. If you have insurance in place that's going to help you in the event that you do get sued, you might not need to form an LLC. Now this comes into place a lot of times when you're dealing with landlords and people that own real estate. There's always the question with real estate, do you form an LLC, do you not form an LLC. And it really just depends on personal situation, how many rental properties you own, things like that. But if you're in a, a business where you have some sort of insurance in place that you don't need to worry about getting sued, then you might not need an LLC. Number four is kind of tricky here because it's a big mistake that a lot of people make when they're thinking about forming an LLC. They want to form an LLC because there's things they think there's some sort of tax benefit to forming the LLC, when in reality, there is no tax benefit to, benefit to forming an LLC. You can actually form, or you can actually operate as a sole proprietor and file a Schedule C with your 1040 that is going to give you the same tax benefits that you would have if you're forming an LLC. Now, if I've got videos over here, over here, I've got videos that talk about the benefits of forming All right, so I had to cut the video off a little bit short before because my battery ran out. Number four was essentially kind of the trick question here. It was because there's no tax benefit to forming an LLC. So you really don't wanna, if you're thinking I'm gonna start an LLC because I'm gonna save money on taxes, that is a bad thing to think about. It's not gonna work, that's just not, the way it works. It's, it, there's no tax benefit. You could be an LLC or a sole proprietorship. Your taxes are going to be exactly the same. An LLC is all about liability protection. It has nothing to do with saving money on taxes. Now you can start a business to save money on taxes, but the fact that you form an LLC has no bearing at all on how much you're going to pay in taxes at the end of the year. So the fifth reason why you do not want to start an LLC is because it's just too complicated for you. If you're having a hard enough time trying to figure out how to set up your business, get clients, set up a website, 
blog, do some YouTube videos, all these things. If you're doing all that and you're just gonna try and throw an LLC on top of it, you know, just wait until you get some clients coming in the door. You don't need to do it right away. Now, if you've got a lot of money to spend and you wanna do that, by all means, go out and hire a lawyer or do it yourself. But if you don't think you can do it yourself and you don't have the money to spend hiring somebody to do it properly, don't waste your time or your money doing an LLC, you know, just, on your own without any help because chances are you're probably going to mess it up you're going to do it wrong at some point down the road it's going to come back to bite you you don't want to do it that way doing videos at home is really hard because i got a cat over there jumping around this is my daughter's cat he doesn't like me too much he doesn't really like anybody too much so at the end of the day, when you're starting your online business, you really wanna make sure that no matter what you do, you've got good advice that's helping you get to where you need to be. So if you're wondering why I'm now with a light and the side drop behind me, it's because I wanted to do this earlier. I thought I was gonna do it earlier. The battery kept dying. I had to charge it. Kids got in the way, life, you know, the whole thing. Now, here we are at nighttime filming videos, which is not where I wanted to be. Regardless of whether you decide to go with an LLC or not with an LLC or with a corporation or not with a corporation or any type of business entity at all, or just stay as a sole proprietorship, that choice is up to you. And really, the most important thing you need to do is make sure you're informed, make sure you've got all the facts, and make sure you know what's gonna work best for you in your particular situation. That's all you can ask for. And then you make the decision and you move on. And at the end of the day, as long as you can sleep better at night and know that you're protected in the way that works best for you and your business, you're gonna be all set. So if you like what I'm talking about, here's another video that talks more about LLCs, corporations, trademarks, all this type of stuff, the things that you need to know to run your online business. We'll see you next time.